Hey guys, what's up? And welcome to another episode of Baruin Build. Today, we are back in the Mesa Village. Of course, we have not ever left here. Um, we are back, and we're going to be working on the ship. And as you can see, there's a little bit done there. Last episode, we built up this big old ship, and I've been doing some work off camera to lay out the deck area and all the other areas. So you can see this is just the ship hull. There is uh, no like sails or anything like that. We're not tackling the sails today, I don't think, or I don't, I'm not really planning on it. Um, but that will be coming in the next couple of episodes. It's going to be one episode that's probably going to be like a big old time lapse where we just tackle a whole bunch of stuff. And I swear, if it's turning night, where's the sun? Show yourself. Oh, you're up there. Never mind. Nope, it's morning, actually. So we, yeah, we built this ship, and uh, we didn't do the, we just did, like, the hole itself. We didn't do the do the deck area. But as you can see, I have created the entire deck minus a little bit. How much wood do we have? Do we have spruce? Yes, we do. So you can see, put in a full deck, and that's what we're going to take a look at right now sorry for the dizziness i bet that was probably unpleasant to view but here we have the deck area i tried to make it interesting you know a lot of times there are decks that are like just flat all the way across and i decided you know what let's make it more interesting so we've got this main flat area uh reason this is flat is this is going to be like where the main attachment for the hot air balloon that's going to be above the ship is going to be this is pretty central uh so i'm going to try and find a good central location for it and I, I think it's pretty centralized like it goes there and there so it may be end up being like right here in this little area right here i think this may be a good spot for it who knows i honestly don't um but as you can see this goes up and it goes up right there which we'll take a look at in just a second but i wanted to have an interesting shaped deck instead of just doing like a flat boring one so this is an area that goes down and there can be a little bit of like deck materials storage whatever um that's here this goes down into the uh cruise quarters area and then this area i have yet to actually put the floor in this is going to be where the captain's quarters are um and the uh the I don't know what to call it. I think it, I don't, a steering, the steering wheel of the ship. I don't know what that, if that has a technical term, um, is going to be up here. Going to probably continue this stairway, like right here, starting so it goes up and you can get up here, um, without having to go into the captain's quarters. And then, of course, the in, inside here, there's going to be a staircase somewhere for the captain to be able to get up here. Um, and this is where the steering wheel is going to be so that you can actually you know fly the thing without having to uh, move around and stuff so i think that's going to be a good layout uh, and this is floor is going to go probably right to where the scaffolding is right there and that'll go that'll be like where a wall is um, and so if we take a look over here also did a mirrored kind of area here instead of sinking it down though this is just kind of i don't know adds a little interest and then helps add in a reason why these go up. This is going to be where the main attachment is for the hot air balloon. Um, and then this area, I think, is going to be where the actual, like, mechanism for the fire, like the fire is going to be. Um, but the fire will be probably up above a little bit. And there will be some way. That's there's, The issue is I'm trying to figure out how we're going to do it. Um, because, obviously, if, you're, if the steering wheel is right there, if there's a giant wall in the way, it, you can't really steer the ship very well. So we're going to have to figure that out, but I think that's a good challenge to have. And then you can go down here, and you can, of course, go and check out the beautiful view. Um, but this is also another entrance into the lower deck. And this has three stories to it. You are met here with just a little t like a cross area. And you can go down, and this is where one of the main storage areas is going to be. I think this is a pretty cool space. It's going to make for a lot of uh, just storage, honestly. This is going to be a big cargo ship, so lots and lots of storage. This is going to be one of the main storage areas. This area leads up to the, this is going to be where the 
crew quarters are and this is going to be like it's basically i wanted the crew quarters to be separate from the main storage so this is going to be their their space um, and then this is where that door leads outside you can go down here this goes right into the crew quarters i think that's good and then of course there is the third floor which is in the bottom portion of the hole and we, this is where even more storage is going to be and now i do need to add some detail work this is going to be a little bit of uh interesting space to work with because this is like the actual ship hole so i'm gonna probably either move the floor up by one block just give a little bit more space or i don't know exactly i need to add some like beams that are on the inside to actually give some structure to this i think um, and then I think it'll look a little bit better, but we have a decent amount of storage here Some taller things can go in the bow 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 and stern. I think I, I think I would guess the bow is the front um, But these are this is what I've been doing. Um, I've been working just on the decks and the floors and stuff I decided it wouldn't make very interesting video content trying to lay this out as it was a lot of him and hauling from me just trying to figure out how I was gonna do it. Um, and so, yeah, I think it looks really nice. I'm really excited to get started working on it today. What I wanted to tackle was the captain's quarters area. Uh, I wanted to tackle that and figure out exactly how big of a room it's gonna be, how tall it's gonna be, because it could be a little taller than what this back wall is showing. And then I also wanted to kind of do some layout and planning for the hot air balloon and the hot air balloons like a flame area flame mechanism the heat uh wanted to figure that out a bit um and then i think that'll do it for this episode now this episode as i said uh last week this one is going to be a bit shorter uh, this week's a bit busy for me as i have my birthday um today is technically my birthday uh today it's tuesday so the 10th um, and, uh, so not a ton of time as I'm doing some stuff with my, I have a twin sister, so I'm doing some stuff with my family and her, and then I'm doing stuff on Saturday as well, uh, Saturday to Sunday. So I really don't have a ton of time to get this video done. So I'm going to try and do a smaller project, uh, on the side that helps get this boat into a better place. Um, now I need to go and gather up materials as the sun is setting and stuff. Um, so don't feel like building at night either uh, but I need to go gather up gather up some materials so that we can have some interesting stuff to build with so let me go ahead and go do that and then I'll be back with you in just a little bit alrighty so I've done some resource gathering and uh, brought some shulker boxes up here to work with we actually ran out of redstone so I went and got some ores is spent is essentially what I got um, I got redstone, lapis, and coal. We were out of all of that, and so decided let's go ahead and get that. Um, what, uh, what I wanted to work on today is actually this section here. Um, so it's going to be interesting because the more I've looked at various different boat ship thingamajiggies, like models, and um, it seems like most all ships don't actually have, um, they, they don't have a roof exactly. They're more just like continued deck space all the way up to the top. So that's going to be interesting. So what I'm thinking is we're going to have the deck, final deck space be right here. Um, and so it's not going to be as tall, but I'm thinking it's going to go to right about there. Um, and then this will just be a backspace area that is just a bigger wall. And I think that it will be okay. But then we have to figure out how we're going to be getting up to this spot. Um, and so I'm thinking instead of having a lower deck here, we're going to instead have a staircase. Well, we may have we, we may do both. I don't know. It kind of depends. I need to get some oak slabbage going first. I think that'll be handy dandy. Okay, no, I just want I just want to know what I can actually make. Okay, we're just going to do that. Um, and then first we need to figure out how we're going to get up there. And I think the best way to start would be to do this. And I think we can make kind of a staircase that goes like this. 
um, and then maybe this actually gets busted up there. I think that could work pretty simply. Um, and then of course we'll work this out. We're not gonna have this be weird like that, but we'll have this here and then similar thing here. Did I do it right here? Yes, I did. So here, 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 and there. So then we have mirrored staircase, staircases, not staircases, mirrored staircases, and I think that'll look decent. It'll, it, I mean, as long as everything's symmetrical, I think it looks okay. Yeah, that looks fine. Um, so we'll have that there, and then we want to do this how? So maybe we have a lower stair, a lower, not staircase, a lower deck right here, perhaps? Or maybe what we do is we continue a staircase like this, bring it in by one, and then we have this lower deck area, right? Nope, not like that. You were very wrong. So maybe we do this to this, and then this is actually all an upper deck area, and we can do again with these like little alcove shapes kind of have like a little alcove type of thing going on. I think that could be interesting. That could make it so it's a bit more, uh, it's a bigger space, um, but it's not gonna be too big. So maybe we come in like this, and maybe this is how big this area is here. Uh, and then we actually have this space here coming out. Let's do this to there, to there, to here and then come all the way across on either side. So it's like a diagonal in and then goes all the way across. And then let's do that again here. So this comes out here, comes out, and then comes out here and comes across. How do we like that? Do we like that at all? Mm, yeah, and then the steering wheel could actually be here uh, and then it gives you even bigger, a even bigger view. Could be interesting. Uh, and then the captain is, who is steering out has, you know, more protection from the back um, via the giant wall that's behind them. That could be interesting. Get rid of that. Boom. I think that is good. Let's do this. Oh, we're out of oak. Well, okay. That's going to irk me. So let's do that. Nope. That. There. Okay. And I'll, I'll get more oak. Um, now we need some spruce, and I actually wanted to take these really quick and see what this looked like. I think I'm gonna like that more. I think that'll help. Um, and then we can actually do this and make it so it's a little bit more of a pillar. I think that could be good. Yeah, yeah. So the sun's going down. Let me go ahead and sleep for a sec. All right, so I got a little bit more um, oak logage. Uh, we are running low on oak, and next project that we do is going to be, after we finish this place off, is going to be a tree farm. And uh, I think it's high time we've had one of those. But anyway, so I've gone ahead and worked on this a little bit more, um, and I wanted to just show you how I've been doing the walls a little bit. So it's, I've got these walls back here, and the way I've been working them out is I put down, like I'll put down a piece of some spruce planks and then I actually get rid of the oak along the side here and just kind of put this as a temporary guardrail type of thing. Uh, maybe not temporary actually, it's, it's pretty permanent. <laughs> um, but it's, it's a simpler way of doing a guardrail. I don't figure that we need to necessarily go crazy with like guardrails and all that stuff. I think it's, I mean, it's a, a flying ship. If you fall off of this, then well, uh, here, I'm not sure what we're going to do because I don't really want to put this here. I don't really think it needs to be there. So we may just have this be a color decoration thing. Um, and I think that'll be perfectly fine. Um, but here is this top deck area now. Um, and I'm thinking steering wheel, we're gonna put right here. So then you are right here and you can see everything. I think that'll be very good. Um, yeah, I think that'll be good. So this is now 
uh, pretty laid out in terms of the deck space and I think it looks pretty cool. I mean, you've got all these like interesting shapes going on, different levels and stuff happening, and I think it looks really cool. Let's take a look at it from the, up in the sky because no longer does it look like a giant bathtub, that's for sure. So I don't know if we can actually name it a big bathtub, the big bathtub or whatever, um, because it doesn't really look like a bathtub anymore, which is a good thing. It, it's not supposed to look like a bathtub. It's supposed to look like a boat, but I think it's very cool. Um, so now let's look at the interior space we've got here. This is a pretty nice sized room and I'm thinking of splitting it up into a couple different things. So let's see, I'm thinking that maybe what we do is we have some logs that just kind of come across here to act give it back thank you to act like they're beams that are being held up uh, that are holding everything up uh, and then that way we can also have beams that come across here uh, to make it seem like it's a relatively stable thing um, and then maybe we do this like that I think that could be something that we do sure now I need more spruce Ugh. We've been, we use so much spruce, man, it's crazy. Let's see, do we have any doors? We have oak, why don't we use oak? No, I don't think it fits. We need to have spruce doors. There we go. Um, so we need some supporting beams in here, right here, and let's see, this one, yes. So it's here that comes across, and then right here. Boom, okay, I think that's good. Uh, and then we can have, we have this kind of odd space here, but that's okay. Um, now the ceiling is being held up relatively safely. Um, and then let's work on figuring out how we're going to make this work. So what I'm thinking is we're going to have like a dining space here. Um, just a very simple dining space. So maybe what we do is let's make all the furniture uh, spruce. Do we have any spruce stairs made? We do. Now what I'd like to do is to make the stairs potentially out of dark oak. Um, so let's do a table like right here. This is gonna be interesting because this is a weird spot. I think maybe the table's gonna have to go like this and it could be a kind of a, a, a weird shaped table like this. Could be like this. Then maybe some dark oak stairs here and here. I think that looks good. So we've got a nice little dining area for the captain to be able to either dine with somebody that he's uh, having to talk with or what have you. Um, just a nice simple dining setup I think is good. And now we've got to work with the space we're given. And I think what I'd like to do is separate the dining space a bit and make it so that there is a wall right here and maybe a wall right here and then the dining space is a little oblong right here all right so i went ahead and did a little bit more laying out uh, moved the dining table actually here made it a square and uh, just put some chairs around it i think that's is probably the best place for it. We could shove it over one, but I didn't want it interacting with the wall here very much. Um, so I'll probably do some sort of like little bookcase or something right here. Um, and I think that'll be good. Um, made this little deck, deck, what am I, desk. Um, and so this is gonna be like the captain's main desk. Um, we could actually probably move this right to there. And he's got a little reading lamp. Um, and so move this. Uh, made this here and I think this is pretty good. We're gonna have some like decoration on the sides some more bookcases and stuff very simple um, And then I moved the bed from outside into here put these on there because I figured you know This is a boat and even if it's in the air They're gonna have like turbulence and stuff and so they are gonna want to be able to not roll out of bed So I thought this was an interesting little concept uh, Nothing else is really gonna be in here. Maybe a bookshelf up there um, but nothing too crazy, but that is this area. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get a little bit more decorating done and then I'll show you the final result um, in just a little bit.
Alrighty, so I have finished the captain's quarters. You can see a little bit of work has been done on the outside, not too much. I uh, didn't really want to tackle too much of the outside, just wanted to get the, the kind of main cabin feel. Got the stairs looking a little better too. I think we're going to just put some like crates here just as like a small storage area. Um, but let's take a look inside. Here we have it. Of course, no desk or anything has been moved. Just added some of the details in. Added a little detail into the roof with some more slab work. I think it looks really nice. Uh, the has there's some like pots for cups and stuff. Some plants, barrels for shelves and all that. I traded these out for the trapdoors for signs so that you could actually spawn here uh, before I was spawning here and hitting my head. Uh, so that was not very pleasant. And then this area has a, not, a lot of bookshelves and things, and I think this is really cool. Also put a lectern here. I need to put a book here, um, but I don't have a book currently. This is really kind of cool. I have this like middle gap area, and we had some space up above, and I was like, you know what? Extra storage. So, okay, let's go. Come on, come on. Yeah, oh. There we go. So got some extra storage up here on both sides, as you can see. Um, and then, of course, you can easily get down via the ladders. Not technically supposed to do that, but that's okay. So this is the captain quarters. I think it they look very, very good. Um, I'm really happy with how everything's turned out. Nice, fun, quaint area. Added a rug down here. I would do the whole, like, add a wall block, but these are slabs, and this is the ceiling of the next floor. So we can't really do anything there. Um, but that's okay. And added windows. Uh, I think the windows add a lot. I went with the white just because it's got a wood trim, and I think it looks pretty nice. It's a, like it's not a, a color or anything like that. Um, Exterior-wise, it adds flair to the boat. Um, we're just going to have to figure out how to better do that. Oh, and I added fences up here just to see if I liked this. I think I do. I think I like this. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do back here, um, but this is what we're going to tackle next. Um, so let me go ahead and gather some more resources up, and then we're going to do some building on camera together. So see you in a few. So I've been doing some thinking, some building and tearing down, and I'm thinking this area needs to change just a little bit. So what I am planning on doing is I think this needs to actually go up by this much. I think this is going to be good. It looks pretty cool, I think, from downstairs, uh, or at least I imagine it does. Um, and it's going to be good, I think, in the long run because it makes a little bit more sense for the steering of the ship. Uh, basically what I want to do is make this higher up so you can actually see further ahead. Uh, I think that makes a lot of sense for this area, this ship. Um, so I'm thinking that this is going to be where the captain actually sits. Um, and that, well, sits or stands or whatever. And this is where the steering function is going to be. I don't know what to call it, a steering wheel. Um, and maybe the steering is like this, and I haven't really thought this out very much. Actually, what if we did um, a fence here, 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 oop, out of fences. But I, what if we put that there like it's the wheel, and then we had one more uh, fence sticking up on top that could work or what mm, I wonder what a gate would look like um, but you can see this is what it looks like from down below I think that has a much better feel to it even even from up here this is a better view of it I think it has a nice kind of like interesting shape how this all goes down and this goes up it makes for a really cool looking shape um, and I think it utilizes the space a bit better now we've got one fence hmm <clears throat> Okay, uh, let's make one more, and boom. And then we'll put a, uh, we'll get two fences back so we don't actually need to make any more. Nope, I like the fence more, so let's go ahead and make another fence. Uh, no, I don't want to use that wood. Oak is currently running quite low, actually. That is what we want, right? There, like that, boom, okay. 
Um, yeah, so I'm so I'm I've been thinking as I've been building this, I have to keep going, growing some oak trees, and then making more oak. And uh, the more I've been thinking, the more I'm like, I really just want to go back to the steampunk city, build a tree farm, and then come back and finish this project. Would you guys be down for that? Because it's really annoying having to run back and forth um, and not being able to actually like build in a, a manner that I really want to. Um, just going to make a wall here because I think this this back area doesn't need to be used too much i don't think it can be kind of just like a walkway area um and then these can be just the guardrails that keep the captain on here um, and so you can't really see very well so maybe what we do is we raise this up by a half slab so you can actually kind of see over it a bit uh that could be good oh zombie decided to come out of the cave maybe we do this no nope that's not what we want um hmm what if we did this and then did a slab here so you have a little raised stoop that could work i think that's interesting what does do these look decent on top okay well that's gone no they don't connect at all that's kind of silly i wish there was a way to connect those that's okay we'll just uh put a fence back right there and i think that is good it adds a little perch for the the captain to stand on and steer the ship obviously he would be able to see through and this would be actually more like a, a, a wheel for a ship uh, wouldn't be that weirdness that is minecraft <laughs> but that's okay um now let's go ahead and see like i'm thinking this could just be maybe actually what if we did it like this to where it was upside down stairs all the way across adds a little bit of flare how's that look i think that, that looks fine um and then maybe we could add some slabs every other uh how would this how should this work maybe here 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 and then there yeah that'll work okay uh let me go get some more slabs here and here and then maybe we do this along the sides right like that yeah i think that'll work that adds a little bit of flair but doesn't make it so it stands out too much um and you know what we could do is actually make this a just a block we could do that and make these bits actually more solid how do we like that yeah yeah i think that's good is it really turning night again man time flies in this world um yeah i think that looks good i like that uh so i'm just gonna go ahead and do a little bit of work up here as well I wanted to do the steering wheel with you just because I, I think that it's an important feature um but now it's starting to look like a very cool little area and so i'm gonna continue working up there get this kind of from here on up done and then we'll come back and we'll take a look at it after i sleep of course all righty guys i have finished and i have to say i love how everything has turned out let's take a look bada bing bada boom yes super green super lush all sorts of stuff happening and what i decided to do was put the kitchen outside the reason being is interior wise this needs to be very cargo centric um and so i wanted the inside to be primarily cargo holding area and then i thought to myself you know this place needs a, a an area for someone to cook there needs to be a kitchen because they have to feed people obviously and so then i started thinking where could we put that and i was like this area up here i had no idea what to do i was like it, it doesn't need to be cargo because that can be all interior so then i started thinking you know what they're not going to deal with any sort of weather because they will be flying above the weather for the most most part of the time like if there's a sense of bad weather boom just fly above it no rain so i decided why not make it so the kitchen is up here and i absolutely love this spot 
I am in love. Look at this. It's so quaint. It's kind of smushed together. It looks so cool, and I absolutely love it. Oh, let's look at it in shaders. Why don't? Why not? Oh yeah. Look at it in shaders, man. So what I've done is I've just converted this place to a big old kitchen. And as you saw on the back there, there is the spot where the smoke from the the stove here goes out and I think that adds a really cool flair so it's basically just like a, a, a small house type of kitchen sort of dealio where there's not a ton of cutting space or anything like that um, but they don't need that you're, you're on a ship you're working with a bunch of small things but I, what I one thing I wanted to do was show the variety that they have and so we've got this kind of composting area not really sure what that is i just thought it added maybe it's like a mixing bowl filled with all sorts of stuff and they're making i don't know gruel or something something gross like that um and so we have every single sapling here we've got birch jungle acacia spruce dark oak and oak and i'm that's the, all of them right I think that oh, that should be all of them unless in the nether update they add more this is all of them and i thought this was it worked out to being like that i didn't really plan for that but i thought this was a really cool addition to show hey we've got all sorts of stuff we're eating all sorts of food here that is from all around the world so they also have a little wash basin area and then the stove is of course right there um and uh, it's so cool and one thing you may not have noticed is I you the peony is like the flower of the steampunk seed city. It's my favorite too tall flower because of one our texture makes it into like a pink peony and um, well okay it's 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 bedtime. Let me go sleep um, and then we'll get back to it. Gotta say this place in here looks pretty cool with shaders as well. It looks very very nice. I like it. Um, I thought I was gonna have to like mess up the ceiling here. Um, but didn't have to because of how tall we made the captain's deck area uh, actually worked out to being not having to like mess with it also the stairs this is the storage stuff i was talking about there is a crafting bench a barrel and then or well a crate i guess and then a chest there and then a two a double wide chest there thought that was cool get rid of that don't need it anymore should put a guard rail here considering you'll fall to your death um but as I was saying, the peony is the steampunk city flower, and that's what I want to use in a lot of this. Now, this is not a pirate ship or anything like that, so I, I was thinking, you know, this needs a distinguishing factor to show that this is a friendly ship, that they, there are more, there's more to this ship than just, you know, being a giant flying ship. It's not like a pirate ship or anything like that. They're friendly. And so the peony, I think, is their sign of peace. So they have these peonies up by the captain to show their sign of peace. And then we got a little bush here. thought that was fun. Here is what the uh, the little doohickey here, the pipe for the furnace, goes through. And I thought this was a really, it was weird, but I think it works really well. Um, and you can still, I wanted to make sure you could still go through. You have to squat but you can still make it through there, and I thought that was a really nice touch. Um, and maybe it is a little weird to have this right here, but I think it works well. And so the captain can lead his ship from up here and also smell the goodness that is happening right below him. I mean, if I was captain, which I am, of course, I'm a captain of everything in this world, I would want to smell everything. So that is it for today's episode guys that's all i have time for i hope you have liked it i hope you enjoyed everything and leave a like in real life if you have and i'll see you guys in the next episode uh, bye bye